The Laundry family says Brian's remains have been given to an anthropologist to be examined. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon has been following this case from the very beginning, and she speaks to a retired FBI special agent about the important piece of evidence that may hold some clues. Authorities end their month-long search for Brian Laundry this week after skeletal remains were discovered Wednesday inside the Myakkahatchee Creek Environmental Park in Northport. Authorities used dental records to identify the remains. The discovery was made after the Laundry family attorney says Brian's parents went to the park to search for their son and located his belongings. As far as how did the Laundries know where to look on uh, Thursday, you know, that was just starting at the beginning and working their way into the trail. And as everybody knows, uh, Brian's remains and, and the identif uh, personal items were located, you know, somewhat in close proximity to the entrance to the park. Numerous law enforcement agencies worked together to search for laundry. They used helicopters, drones, and canines. The FBI says laundry's remains were located in an area previously flooded. The FBI says authorities located a notebook and backpack. It was probably a paper notebook. Uh, if that were the case and it was underwater, right now what's happening is the FBI is very, very carefully drying that out and will not open it uh, for fear of damaging any contents until they've got it dried. Brian Kensel is a retired FBI special agent in Tampa with more than 30 years of experience. Well, Wyoming has very restrictive laws as far as what they can release uh, from a medical examiner's office and from an autopsy exam. Uh, fortunately, Florida is not as restrictive in that regard. So we will have more information about Mr. Laundry's death than we may have about Ms. Petito's death. Laundry remains the only person of interest in his fiance's homicide. Gabby Petito's remains were located outside Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming last month. The couple traveled across country visiting national parks when police say Laundrie returned home without her. Kensel says with Laundrie dead, answers may now be limited. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.